So welcome back to another thrilling installment of Bodgeneering. Today what we are going to do is put that lot on there. Just get it jacked up and we'll get the wheel off. Shouting out, dog. Give yourself a bit of height. It appears we have a wheel spacer on. I'm sure of that. Uh, big. I wonder if there's a metric actually. It's got one It's alright. Job get the handbrake cable loosened off. We'll get the brake lines chopped out as well. This is why I always keep those little bags you keep, get things in. Over there, the other side. I hear the kids arguing. <laughs> I'm going to put all new brake hoses on this, I think. We shall see, we shall see. Oh, this will be just stop the fluid dripping everywhere. Get this hooked up out of the way. Right. And brakes off. It's nice and loose. Very loose. Set off. All right, next off, wind the drums, uh, drums, shoes, back in on themselves. Hopefully we go which way we're going here. I don't know which way we're going. I think we might be actually going the wrong way there. I have got the right size spanner somewhere, but I can't find it. Feeble excuse, I know. One eternity later. Find my spring compressor, let's do the good old fashioned way. Let's 
stop sniffing the camera, idiot boy. You coming to help, dog? Right. Split pin in there. Did he jump there? So, get the disc on there, I've got a funny feeling, I might need to take the edge of that off. Oh, apparently, this is a Foxhole Nova disc. Other cars are available. Yeah. Gonna need a bit taken off of that. Sort that out anyway. That's the whole centre's like. Whole centre's are good. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. So we need to get that off. Two big 15-16s. Seely special. It does the job. Dog's been a knobhead again. It's a bit of an angle, but it might work. Put the impact driver on it, couldn't I? So plan B, took the adjuster out of the back plate. You probably guess I'm avoiding at all costs trying to get the bloody half shaft out. That's a really have to.
bloody kids screaming. Alrighty, enough pissing about. Plan C. vice we go. So we're in the vice, I've got it very lightly nipped onto the retaining ring there and just the weight on the bearing. So hopefully if we give it a smack on top we should be good to go. I've put the nut on there as a sacrificial piece so we don't damage the threads. Let's get the I'm not asking hammer out. Right, I've got my protection on and I've got my wife's sledgehammer. Yes I did say my wife's sledgehammer. Let's give it a go. Does it? That tape was proper on there. Let's get you somewhere where you ain't going to bounce around so much. Even with the I'm not asking hammer, it's been problematic. Votes, UNF, cheap enough. And that table was proper on there. Don't lose a key. Right, we've also shattered the bearing, so I need to put a new bearing on. Going slowly. There we go. Oh, that's fucking emotional. So, to get a pair of bearings in order. Deep joy. I wanted to avoid that, but shit happens. Don't think I'll be using those again. <laughs> A few minutes later. So one phone call and 20 minutes later I've got some new bearings. We love be local bearing suppliers. Alright, let's see if we can get away with not using a mandrel on this. Give that clean first. Rag. Need a rag. Need a rag will do. So. Brass drift.
think that's it. I think we're home. A couple of taps, just for good measure. There we go. Job, job. So before I chuck this in the lathe, I need to pop out the studs. twat and a bit of cleaning up to do I'm not too worried about that face but this face is peened over a little bit there which I need to sort out obviously I need to take the corners off and I need to make this a bit narrower to fit in the disc let's get it on the lathe so a bit of pissing about later we're set up I've had to make a little mandrel to go in there I think I've got it clocked up pretty good first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna clean this face up just get rid of my fucking witness marks because I'm a dick Nice and steady, nice and slowly. I'm using carbide too because it's quite an intermittent cotton need. face in the first place. Okay, we'll give it one more skim. Right, that'll do for now on there. Need to do the width now. Work out how much we need to take off. So I've worked out I've got 180 thou to come off of that. Slowly, slowly, catch you, monkey. Ten, twenty, that's a forty thou cut. Ten, twenty, so another forty thou. It's quite annoying that the disc won't actually fit on here. Right, so I've got another 30 thou to come off. Plus a bit for error. Uh, 30. Say another. Do another 70. Throw my calipers on the floor. Forty coming off. Should be about right that. Let me just double check. Yeah, so that's 20 thou under, which is what I was aiming for. Very nice. I'm going to attempt to deburr that there. Now, our next piece we need to do is that in the middle. All right, so the index I have got to take 891 thou off. Wow, that's a lot. 
think we shall make a start on that. Right, I'm not going to try and chase it out because it's a bit of a dent in there. What we'll do, just break the edge on that. We should be good to go. So there we go, that's how I machined up. It does fit in there, however, there's one problem I've got. There's a little lip in there. I need to get rid of it, it won't fit on my lathe, so I'm going to have to ask a favour of someone. On a brighter note, got a nice little fit in there, that's lovely. So the brake disc has been passed to my father in law to take out that little ridge because it won't fit on my lathe. Hopefully, he can get it done. If not, I'm going to have to come up with another solution. I'm waiting for some parts to turn up, which I've had to order. So I think I'll leave this video at that and we'll make it a two or three part to get these back brakes sorted out. So stay tuned if it's really exciting for you or just don't bother. Do what you want. Thanks for watching.